Hey folks, this is John Miller, Executive Editor with WV News. We would like to welcome you to Ask the Experts, featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwv.com. And now live from the studios of the Exponent Telegram in Clarksburg, West Virginia, let's Ask the Expert. Welcome to Ask the Expert with John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John, welcome again. Always glad to talk to you. Um, You know, there's been a lot of discussion about, you know, some people like to go about this thing kind of piecemeal. You know, I'll do a little bit over here with this, folks, and a little bit over there. Mm -hmm. I've been reading a good bit, and I know Forbes had an article about a year or so ago that talked about the importance of integration when it came to financial planning. Can you tell us about it? Absolutely. You know, it, it's kind of funny because we get people call us all the time and they come in with, with up to 20 different accounts. And these are accounts are everywhere. And, uh, you know, they may have a 401k at three or four different places that they didn't move. Uh, they may have some life insurance with a couple different people. They may have some bank accounts. Uh, they have some IRA accounts, just different things. And what they really lack is they don't know how to how all these accounts should work together to help them achieve the most basic goals that they have. You know, a good example of that, John, is I had a guy the other day said, hey, look, I got to retire. You know, I've got a couple million dollars. But he goes, I have it all these different places. And he said, so what do I do? And when we talked about that, he said, well, one of the things I want to do is I still want to maintain four different advisors. And I told him, I said, you know what? I said, the problem is that's the equivalent of asking four different surgeons to do quadruple bypass on you. You know, I said, how do you do that? I said, if you need quadruple bypass, shouldn't someone be the leader, someone coordinate the whole thing? Or do you just let one go in and go, hey, by the way, you know, now it's your turn. Because I said, where one of the simple issues is, is that when you're taking income, okay, and you have these four different people, and next thing you know, you need some extra money. Well, who should you call to get that extra money? Because you could have four people doing four totally different things that have no coordination. And so I really believe that when people piecemeal or they they think that they're diversifying, that in reality, they're deeply hurting themselves, you know. One of the things you've talked about is how you guys kind of streamline and you you enable people to have an, a, the, the quick ability to look at their portfolio, you you put things online for them. We do, so. yeah. So, you know, and one of the things that that I think is a great benefit is, is, is organizing and simplifying. And what I mean about that is I believe that everybody should have one way to where they can go somewhere and look at everything they have. And when I say everything, I'm not talking about just your investment accounts. I want your bank accounts there. I want your credit cards there. I want your loan information there. I want any deeds for your properties there. Um, I want anything that's relevant in your life, copies of your wills, copies of your tax returns. Because the one thing that we know is that unfortunately, sooner or later, we're probably going to develop some type of illness. We're going to have some issues and someone may need to step in. And I don't know if, if you've ever taken over someone else's stuff, but it's hard to figure out exactly where they even started. By having everything coordinated in one place like that, it's easy to see. You know, I, I had a guy from WVU who was a professor and his daughter called me and she said, hey, look, I hate this call because my dad's going into a nursing home. She goes, I'm going to assume that they're broke, but they always had this thing that said, call John Halterman. And they said, so I'm calling. Really, I don't even know why I'm calling. And I said, well, why do you think your dad's broke? She goes, well, because my mom was the organizer and she passed away. And I said, yeah. And he goes, and so my dad didn't really know what to do. And I said, I got to tell you, though, your dad has everything in an online portal. And I said, anything that you want to know about your dad, we can look at. And, and she goes, oh, wait a minute. She goes, I can look at it? And I said, absolutely. We thought this through years ago. Your dad gave us authorization to that if this day ever came, that you would be the person. So when you called, I knew exactly the reason why. And, and so anyways, make a long story short, I showed her everything her dad had. And she was blown away by the fact that her dad had far more money, far more assets and things that she even knew. She was worried he wasn't even going to be able to pay his internet bill, which was his favorite thing to do, you know. And so, but having that all there, it was such a relief because she thought that it was just going to be a conversation of, hey, why they failed. Instead, it was a conversation about here's all their success and here's everything they have in one place. So easy for her to take over as a power of attorney for them. 
That's got to give you a warm feeling when you're able to do that for people. Oh, it, it's one of the best feelings. I mean, you know, I mean, think about this. As an advisor, my job is to make sure that people reach whatever goals, whatever outcomes they desire. That, that's what this is about. And so when, you, when you're talking to somebody, you're talking about their future all the time. And there's so much uncertainty and unknown. And people don't know where to go. And so my job is to be able to say, okay, this is what you want to accomplish you know, what's stopping you right now? You know, what are the train wrecks? What are the missed opportunities? And then how do I build, how does my team build the strategies to put you in that, that proper place? And of course, ultimately when something happens, whether it's a death, they end up in a long-term care facility, uh, they end up just incapacitated, or they're just enjoying retirement. When we're able to fulfill those wishes, that's the best feeling in the world. John, I tell you, it, it, it amazes me sometimes that you're able to, to simplify, I think is the way uh, I be, uh, to, to say it. You're able to, to bring this home and to talk about it. Um, and we've talked before about the difficulty. That phone call couldn't have been easy for that young oh, lady. Oh, no. It was um, you know, you've dealt with people at sometimes their worst scenario, uh, and you've been able to help a number of people find a way forward. Um, what's the what's the best advice? Going back to the piecemeal question, because we yeah. get that a lot. What's the best advice? Well, I, I think the very best advice is you got to gather everything you think is possibly imaginable. You know, I use a scenario all the time. Um, I had a client who he was a big shot at an energy company, and he worked for several. Of them. His job was to go in, you know, rearrange the company, uh, make them profitable, and then leave. And so he worked at several places and his whole life, his wife was a stay at home mother. And so she always assumed that he, that she would be taken care of. Well, guess what? He died unexpectedly right when he first retired. And so unfortunately she calls me up and she says, Hey, look, I'm going to assume that my husband had our affairs together, but I don't even know where to start. And so what we had to do was we had to go back and find every single statement that he ever had, anything that he ever worked at, and start calling them people on her behalf. And it was a big process. It took us almost a year for her to get in a position to where she finally felt comfortable with what she was doing. Because up until then, she had gotten herself so frustrated. And she heard, she heard me talk on TV, and she said, you know what? I don't know where to go at this point. And so I'm going to assume that you can help me. And so that's what we did. But like I tell everybody, it doesn't matter where your money is or what it is. Gather it all together. Let's sit down and have a conversation of exactly what you want to accomplish moving forward. You know, because I think that's the key, because it doesn't matter what you did five years ago, 10 years ago or whatever. It's what you want to accomplish today. OK, and then we got to take it. We got to take everything and gather all the information. Because of what I tell people all the time, if I don't know everything about you, it's no different than a doctor not understanding your blood work. You should never, ever give a recommendation or, you know, or a prescription when you don't know exactly where that patient is. That's the same thing here. You know, we're never going to be about selling a product. It's always going to be about understanding what's important to you, figuring out exactly where you're at, and then figuring, okay, where can we add value? Because that's what this is about. It's about adding value to yourself, you know, because you've got to win in this. And the only way you're going to win is if we develop strategies that are designed uniquely for your own individual situation. Again, we want to thank John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management for joining us on Ask the Expert. Ask the Experts featuring John Halderman of Beacon Wealth Management. John is the founder, owner, and certified wealth strategist at Beacon Wealth Management. You can find out more at bwmwv.com.